Are you tired of losing? I am too. Welcome to the Hostile Traveler, the place where we focus on mental health, traveling the world, and freedom. Are you tired of losing? I know I am. I am tired of losing. Losing is something that I'm very, very familiar with from a kid up until today. It usually takes me a few times to get it right. Are you that type of person where it takes just a bit more effort than the next person? Have you ever heard the song, Some Guys Have All the Luck? Well, I'm not one of those guys, but what do we do? What do we do when failure is something that haunts us? What do we do when we don't get the support and or encouragement from our environment, whether that be family, friends, significant other? What do we do? This is what you do. Step number one, don't try so hard. Now, I don't mean not put your full effort, intentions, and faith in what you're doing. I don't mean not paying attention to detail, giving a honest effort and or working real hard. I'm talking about not focusing and worrying about the outcome. Do it because you can do it. If you are a painter, paint. You sketch, sketch. Are you a gamer? Play the game. You love planting a garden? Go plant some roses. Are you a filmmaker, construction? It does not matter, ma'am, ma'am. I did not forget you. You're a hairstylist. Style some hair. But don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Failure is going to happen, and some people just are a little luckier at certain things than others. If you're from the faith-based community, they're going to tell you just pray harder. I'm in pretty good shape, so how would it look for me to tell in a guy that's about 75 pounds overweight, hey, just pray harder, and <laughs> you're going to have some six-pack abs. Don't try so hard. Give a honest effort to the best you can and leave it there. Number two. Number two, don't share all your hopes and dreams with the world. I know we have social media and you can tell me what you have for breakfast. Excuse me. Show me what you have for breakfast and tell me. That doesn't mean you should. Don't share your deepest desires with everyone because you're going to set an expectation that they're going to expect you to live up to later on. Why put that pressure on yourself? You're better than that. You deserve more. You deserve happiness and you don't deserve your best friend saying, hey, Hey, when are you going to do what you said you were going to do? Number three, and this one is the most difficult. Give up on the American dream. If you still believe in the married couple, the White House with the picket fence, two and a half kids, something is wrong with you. Now, there's an exception to the rule, but the rule makes the exception. We're living in dark times as far as relationships, as far as physical interaction. Most people live through their phones and their social media persona. Give up on the American dream. Give up on the American dreams that you're going to be the next Mr. Beast. Give up on it, sir. You're only five foot eight at best. You're probably not going to be power forward in the NBA. Give up on the American dream and focus on your dream. That's what I did, and each day gets a little easier. Focusing on what I want to do in life, to be an encourager, not a discourager, takes time. Takes time because negativity sells faster than those of us that decide to work on ourselves. Do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss these videos. And remember these two things before I go. Number one. Are you tired losing? If so, take these three tips. And number two, today is the perfect day to be alive and it's waiting on you.